As airsofters, we have a wide variety of different load-bearing equipment options at our disposal. There are things like plate carriers, chest rigs, harnesses, belts, whatever you can dream of you can use for our purpose as airsofters. However, some systems are by design and by the way that the human body works, they are significantly better than others. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a system that I truthfully am not a big fan of, and that is leg rigs and drop leg panels. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the reasons why I don't like them and why I always try to steer players away from them. What's up Airsofters, my name is Lane and welcome back to the BB Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsofting field through our educational content. And if you enjoy our videos, I'd love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below for new videos every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. So drop legs, they come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, and configurations. However, truthfully, I think that they just aren't a very good idea overall. So I think one of the biggest issues that I have with drop leg panels personally is while they do look cool, let's get that out of the way. I know that's very important to a lot of you guys. However, looking cool doesn't mean efficiency. Um, the issue with a lot of drop leg panels is the fact that they are on your leg and they are constantly going to be, you know, swinging around, bumping into stuff and things like that. There is no way that you can actually make a drop leg so snug to your leg without cutting off circulation that it's going to stay in place and you're not going to have any sort of wobble. Especially once you start running things like um, the Mark II leg panel that I have here, which can hold four magazines. Once you start running things that are really heavy on your legs like that, you're going to feel this as you're walking. It's going to be, you know, bouncing around, making a lot of noise, things like that. And it's overall just completely uncomfortable for our usage as airsoft and if you're running you know real steel i don't know why you're watching an airsoft channel but having that additional weight of you know actual rounds inside your magazine instead of little plastic pellets well that's going to get even more uncomfortable and the you know the disadvantages of these panels are going to become even more prevalent to you as you use them so this isn't just limited to these styles where you're holding, you know, like general purpose or uh, magazines. I, f I feel the same way about holsters. Um, a lot of people have been using drop leg -like holsters for a lot of time because they do clear body armor really easily. That is a very distinct advantage of drop leg -like panels and why they originally existed, as far as I remember, is because, you know, body armor was so bulky. It's not like the first plate carrier that came out with the JPC. So the old body armor was so clunky that, you know, they had to have the holster down there so that you could draw through it without actually hitting your load bearing equipment or your plate carrier or whatever you're using. So I always found that even, you know, holsters are the same way because the weight of that handgun is just going to be flopping around, especially if you have a setup that has, you know, magazine pouches on it. It's just overall a very uncomfortable and clunky system that I don't like. However, if you do have your heart set on them, I do have some pieces of advice for you guys. So the first thing that I would look for, and this might be something that you would have to look for in person, um, you're going to want to look for some sort of strap that has, you know, some sort of gripping ability to it. So on like these Mark II panels here, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, however there's these black strips that run along the inside of the leg, and it's kind of like a rubberized coating I guess you could say. And because of that, it does help, you know, stay in place a little bit more. However, you're still going to experience those issues. And just like all the other equipment and the way that I like to build my kit, less is more. If you're able to find a smaller rig, that's going to be less of a profile and less weight that is going to be rocking back and forth on your leg. And overall, it's going to be a more comfortable experience. There are some leg rigs that I actually do recommend out there. Um, the two that I like to recommend are, I like the, uh, the Costa style of um, leg rigs because they don't go that low on your leg. So that one, they're just about as practical as grabbing from your belt. But two, they're also built really small for everything that's on them. So you shouldn't be having that many issues. And then the other method that I like to recommend is the UBLs from Safari Land. So essentially what the UBL is, is it's right in the middle between, you know, where your drop leg holster would be and where your belt mounted holster would be. So it's right in the middle. It has one strap that goes across your thigh and those are pretty nice. It's like the advantages of having a lower ride um, belt mount, but at the same time, it's like at that just perfect spot to where, you know, your leg can help stabilize it because of the strap, but it's not going to be flopping around while you're running around. So I think that the UBL system from Safari Land is amazing. But overall, what I always like to recommend for drop legs is, you know, you want it higher up on your body and you don't want as much mass on it. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, BB Warrior, why not just use, you know, a belt setup? 
You should be using a belt setup, honestly. I think that that is just a way better system to go through is to use something like, you know, a Ronin Tactics Belt or, you know, like the HSGI Sure Grip or even like the Eagle Industries War Belt, which is, you know, stupidly cheap. Pa pair either of the last two with a set of suspenders and you are golden. Or for airsofting purposes, there's things like the Speed QB belts that exist. However, I just think that belt setups, if you're looking for something that isn't going to be mounted and putting weight on your shoulders themselves, getting some sort of belt mounted system is easily going to be the way to go. And again, there are a ton of different options out there. However, discussing those is a topic for an entirely different video. However, overall, just the way that your body is designed and the way that the human body is built to hold weight, it's significantly better to have that weight on your belt and on your hips as opposed to trying to put it on your legs. It's just going to swell you down. It's not going to be as comfortable and that load isn't going to be as secured to your body. And another thing about the belt it's easy to reach. So like with a leg panel, especially the longer ones and the beefier ones, like the Mark II leg panel, it sits so low that I have to actually bend down a little bit to grab a magazine out of one of these pouches. And you know, when seconds count, I would much rather just be able to easily grab a belt mounted taco then go to this thing. While it does provide, you know, more carrying capacity, I'd rather have that weight truthfully divided between my hips and my shoulders because that's just the way that the human body is designed to hold weight. I'm not an expert on the human body and physique or anything like that. I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there and maybe you'll even be in the comments who know more about how the human body works with weight capacity and lifting things. But overall, it's just a more comfortable experience and easier experience, in my opinion, to hold it on your hips or your shoulders for any of your load-bearing necessities or being able to split it up between the two of them, ideally that's going to be the best situation out there. But I want to know, do you guys like to run leg panels for airsoft? Make sure to let me know down in those comments below. And if you do, make sure to let me know, you know, your reasoning why. Because what I say may not work for you guys. There is no cookie cutter solution to a lot of things. And at the end of the day, this is just my opinion based off of my own personal experiences. But that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, if you really enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you joined our community by that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it for updates when we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. And if you enjoy the work that I do here on YouTube, make sure to check out my Patreon. It allows me to continue to make the content that I do for you guys at a steady and professional rate. So make sure to check that out at patreon.com forward slash the BB Warrior. Make sure to follow me on social media. Links will be down in the description below. This has been Lane from the BB Warrior talking about why I don't like leg rigs, excuse me. And I'll see you all next time.